Hi guys, welcome back to another short video. Basically gonna be another plant haul, except this time I am frustrated. I have been searching for months and months, like literally so long, for a philodendron imperial red and imperial green. And I didn't find it anywhere in the stores here. You know? So I was like, okay, fine, I'll order them online. And apparently they're really hard to come by here in Germany. So I ordered them online for 20 bucks each. And I was like, wow, that's expensive, what the fuck? But I couldn't find it anywhere else, so I had to order it. Those are supposed to come today. So this story just gets that much better. I had to go to the doctor's office this morning to get my prescription refilled. And I stopped at the little like nursery store thingy that I always go to that has really cheap plants. And you wanna know what I saw? Can you guess? I'll wait. Correct. Philodendron Imperial Red and Green. And guess how much they were. Guess, guess. Just guess. They were wrong. It was 450. I got them. Okay, here, I'll show you guys. I haven't even unboxed them yet. I just came home and had lunch. I don't know why I'm screaming. I'm so upset. Okay, so here's one of them. Let me just. So this is the Philodendron Imperial green and you can see it's one of the it's not a not really a vining philodendron it's more of a i guess you could make this vine i mean it has aerial roots and stuff because it's a philodendron but huh maybe i will repot this so it does vine well that just cancels out everything i was gonna say anyway these grow or these are usually sold in pots like this and are made to like climb in the center or grow in the center because their stems are pretty thick so they can they can do that <laughs> and here on this one you can see that it has some crunchiness anyway you can see the stem is completely green hence the name you know imperial green and all oh look oh oh this is a baby <gasps> oh it has two baby plants coming out <gasps> oh anybody else get excited when they buy a plant and then they look in the soil and there's like baby plants coming out i'm like yes it's like a three for one it's a three for two for one a two for one is a two for what is a three for one a, a three for a through for three for i'm gonna call it a three for so we got a three for and he, this one has a new leaf look at that green color i mean it has some um water spots because of hard water what am i saying shut up okay so this is the imperial green one and it's looking super lush and healthy. And again, 450. And online, I ordered it for 20. Yep, that's my life. That's. I guess I had used up all my good plant karma on the Orbifolia and stuff. So, ugh, I'm so mad about that. Okay, moving on. Ugh. So this is the Imperial Red. As you can see, its stem has reddish hues. I mean, if we compare it to this one, this one's all green and this one, you know, is red. And the leaves are also a different tone. So this is the newest leaf on the Imperial Green. And this is the newest leaf on the Imperial Red. I mean, this one's already a bit older, but you can see that it has like an orange tint to it, I guess you could say. I mean, but you can see that this one's red and that one's green, right? I don't have to show you like that much detail. So 450. I'm still so upset about that. <laughs> Same thing happened to me. I was getting my outdoor area ready. So I bought two like sun laying furniture things. What are they called? Day beds? I bought two day beds and they were on sale for a hundred each. So I was like, oh, that's cool. I bought two of them. And then like the next day they put it on sale for 80. I was like, why can't you do this before I buy it? I actually bought another plant for my Calathea collection because I'm a freak and that's what I do. It's still in its bag. This was the only one they had and I only bought it because I was missing it, but it looks pretty not healthy. Like, I don't know if this is some sort of sickness or something, but I'm definitely gonna put it in the shower and then leave it in the shower for at least overnight and just wash everything and probably immediately transfer it into hydroculture which is what I'm planning to do with all my pyro plants, but I've been putting that off. But I think this one I'm just gonna wash, 
rinse off all the soil and then put it in hydroculture and see if that gets rid of everything, whatever it has. But yeah, so it's this philodendron compact star. Wow. Focus. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, oh, a piece of soil just fell. Dun. But yeah, you can see that it's like, it's, it's not looking too good. If you look at the underneath, it has like spots everywhere and weird stuff going on. Usually their plants are really good condition, but I guess this one was just left over from, you know, sometime. So that's it for today's haul, which was more frustrating than I wish it would have been, but you know, what boy can you do? I'm probably gonna give them away as like gifts or, well, let's see. Um, so y'all are gonna get another unboxing soon, tomorrow probably, of the stuff that I order online with the philodendrons that I bought for way too much money apparently. But I'm gonna see how they are. Maybe I'll pot them together. Maybe I'll give them as gifts. Maybe I'll separate them and keep them as individual plants. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. How hard are these plants to get in wherever you live? I know there's a, like people from all over watching, so let me know. For example, um, Philodendron Prince of Orange is super, super rare here in Germany. In Europe, I guess. Well, it's not, you can get it from some places, but it's super expensive compared to the States. I was talking to Alessia and she was like, yeah, we got like Prince of Oranges in every nursery for like eight bucks. And here, the cheapest one I could find online was like 35 and that was on sale. It was even more than that. I don't remember how much it was, but it was crazy. And I really want one. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. I'm open to anything. Suggestions, well, I mean, not open to anything, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyways, thanks for watching and thank you for all the nice comments you guys left on yesterday's video. It depends when this is going up, but I posted it yesterday. Um, it's so nice to come back and immediately get like a flood of comments. You guys are so nice. Thanks so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you when I do the unboxing from that online store with the way too expensive lands. Anyway, bye. I'm gonna have to give you guys like a balcony tour or an apartment tour or just something. Let me know what you want to see. I'm open for. Oh my God, please don't tell me. I broke the, oh, okay. Whew, that scared me, I thought I broke the plant. As you can see, ow, I just poked my eye. <laughs> as you can see, as I poke my eye, these plants. Okay, ah, oh, there's a mosquito. <gasps> I just killed a mosquito with my bare hands. Oh, you don't, you don't need to see that. There's something green in the soil, what is this? Oh, it's just a broken leaf. How crazy is this that none of the cats have attacked me so far? Oh, I just had to say that, didn't I? Hi, pumpkin. Do you want to be in the video? Do you want to be in the video? Let go. Let go. Here, be in the video for once, please. Please be in the video. Come on. Say hi. Okay, fine. Get out of here. Ugh. Here. Look, I have... So, pumpkin loves playing with, like, the, the plastic wrapper things. Let's see. If it's these things that you get, like, from packaging. She just loves chewing on them and throwing them around. Here, pumpkin, look, pumpkin, here, come here. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, run. What a fucking weird cat.